So I'm curious, what are the parallels and differences between working in self-driving and working with robots? Is a, is a car just a big robot or is it a completely different paradigm? Yeah, there is similarities and differences. Fortunately for me, at least there is a lot of similarities. So when I move there, like it's, it's the same, we just call it slightly different. What surprised me actually, maybe immaturity, a little bit of the field from like industrial perspective. So robotics was driven by academia and self-driving cars for like several, like for last decade was driven by industry. So we have much more money to build good, in, good um, infrastructure, the same, let's say cloud infrastructure which which is absent in robotics so i would say yeah there is a there is a in the nutshell yes you can think that car is just a big robot it has some challenges that the autonomous vehicle need to be tested in real city because otherwise the environment is too simple and testing in real city is a, like a safety challenge so we are very like it's much harder to test and robots you can I don't know if you're building a warehouse robot, you can just test it in the some kind of playground, which actually helps a lot to accelerate your speed. For example, the last company, self-driving company that I worked at was uh, Wave, which actually we can say pioneer end-to-end -end approach. So when I came to robotics and now end-to-end -end approach with imitation learning, with foundational model became like almost, almost kind of way to go. I'm like, that's great because I know how to build it. 